Okay, so we're here in Vegas at a glorious Walmart Supercenter. We've just stocked up on all the supplies and it's time to load up the Kia Sorento. Rumor has it Doritos are good for starting fires, so I got some of those. Waterproof blanket, tarp, vino of course, because I'm no fool. Uh, sleeping bag, rated to 50 degrees. It's still a pillow because let's be real, gotta get my beauty sleep. Got plenty of snacks to make sandwiches, mac and cheese, a little veggie bun, mashed potatoes all by the campfire. Of course, coffee, cook stove, gear. Most important, since I'm already sweating buckets, oodles of water. Important, we get lapped and loaded in our cooler habits right away. Pulling out of Las Vegas is this beautiful Kia Sorento. Stoked to be on the road with her all weekend. Couple quick reasons that you should continue watching this video. One, if you're a fan of nature, the national parks, trees, anything beautiful, period. We go through over a thousand miles of the United States, most of it protected and gorgeous. You'll want to catch up. Two, if you've ever hit the road alone, you know what it's like to be riding free and through the country. And I hope this video brings a little bit of that nostalgia back for you or helps counter. And number three, the primary reason for this road trip is love. So if you believe in love, the great lengths we go for for love, in this case, the love of my one of my best friends, uh, I would go any distance for Jason and Samantha and I don't move and right along let me show you my whip Here we have the most modest sign of all the states. Woohoo! Here we go, baby! Can confirm. One of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Slept in the key last night, have to say. It's pretty freaking sweet. Full length bed here. No complaints. I've only been in Grand Teton National Park for a few hours, but I can tell you that I'm going to need a lot more hours and that this is definitely not going to be the last time. Hello from the top of Jackson Hole. We are at 10,450 feet. You can see Grand Teton behind me and we just ascended the steepest and longest and highest climbing tram in the United States. I didn't know it was here, but I do now and I have So it's day four of living in the Sorrento and I have to say I'm super impressed. I'm sure you can see back here, I've sort of got my bedding folded up, my kitchen, AKA camping supplies and everything else. Plenty of room, honestly, could have fit two of us back there, no problem. And it's kept me nice and toasty in these cold, cold climates. Check this out. Mm -hmm. The abyss. Legit feels like we're walking on Mars out here in Yellowstone. about the ultimate spa day. Yeah. 
It's time to start the journey home. Low on fuel here in the Kia in northern Nevada. We're actually just outside of Battle Mountain. And conveniently, when we got our low fuel warning, we actually got the option to plug into a list of nearby gas stations, which is horribly convenient, especially when it's late at night and you're in, as you can see, the middle of nowhere. Tasty breakfast at the Cowpoke Cafe.